faster than I expected. That was quite a show. They've been rather busy these last few months, including their frequent forays into the tower. Their fighting style is positively fascinating. <laughs> faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. If they were to meet me, I wonder, what would the look on Yosuke's face be? Uh, uh, who's that? Look, up there! <gasps> it can't be. Yeah! <laughs> Should we do be? Teddy? What are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir-crazy! If only I could detect people in the real world. Well, how did you come here? Do you have some special ability? No, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, good job, Teddy. <laughs> Did I promise that? Oh, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Uh... Whee! You remember, Chie chan Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Risei-chan, too? Let's all go together, then. Is that all right with you? Hmm. It's a deal. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? Y you didn't finish, so... <laughs> I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. You little liar, give me that check. Let's see here. One, two, ten bowls?! Yuki-chan's makes it eleven! <laughs> I was going to finish mine. There, there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I, I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo. Hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little... D dude Hey, he ain't moving! I is he hibernating? Hey! Uh, don't tell me. It, it's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! <clears throat> My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Uh, Yukiko, wait 
for me. Hey, I really can't move. And I don't have the money for a return ticket. Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. Nanako-chan tried hard, too. She... She's such an amazing girl. <laughs> Seriously. Thank heavens she's okay. Where are you touching? Oh. oh, by the way, where's Teddy? Miss, am I allowed to eat this? Of course you can, dear. Eat as much as you like. You're such a nice lady. Is this one cooked already? <laughs> this one's ready, too. Oh, my. Are you hungry for more? Here, I'll open this one, too. You're so beautiful. Oh, my. No. No, I mustn't. I've got a husband and a son. But I really want this meat. And I want you to cook it, miss. Oh, I couldn't possibly. The manager would get so upset. I'll be at Juness too. I'm gonna keep working there and living at Yosuke's place. At this rate, you'll be a full-time employee. Reigning over the store as Juness's idol. Pretty cool, eh, baby? Hell no. Juness doesn't need an idol. Sensei, I finally found a place for me. That's why. I'm going back over there. To make sure it never goes wrong again. I'm going to protect that world from now on. I can finally be proud and say, that world is where I belong. Man, Senpai. This town's gonna feel empty without you. How cruel! W were you even listening? We can see you anytime we want, you dork. Oh, like you'll be gone long. Soon as you start craving something like ice cream, you'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Come on, my honeys. Bluffing that way isn't very cute, you know. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exams. What? No, 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 you won't. Give them to me now. Ooh, first place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? Look, if you're gonna blab at all, you might as well tell us the girls' measurements. What? Are you a complete and utter moron? Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. No! Don't say mine! Aw, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. What? Oh yeah, Naoto-kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto-kun's is... Huh? Is this... for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Uh, anyways... The important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing these anymore. I'm going to go shred them. 
Uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Yeah, you're right. Let's go home. Can I try scoring with you two someday? Sure, go right ahead. Can we please drop the whole scoring thing? And all girls love Teddy. <laughs>